Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 're a loading screen welcome to another ZX spectrum versus Commodore 64 as I like to call it playground Wars in this video we'll be taking a look at this Rambo by ocean software released in 1986 on the spectrum and the Commodore obviously it was released on all the usual suspects by ocean and it's a really really interesting game because ocean were absolutely terrible that's great music for 48k though isn't it they just, they just used to steal their music, didn't they? Everyone did back then. Whether they were copying games unofficially or nicking music, nothing was sacred. Ah, good times. Anyway, yeah, Ocean were absolutely terrible at this. They would advertise games months and months and months in advance of them coming out. Sometimes, like Street Hawk on the Commodore, they never even came out. But now you say people do that now. No, they give you a release date. I mean, sometimes it gets delayed, but they give you a release date. Ocean just started advertising Rambo in the Spectrum magazines like months before it came out. I mean, was it scrap free program? I don't know, but it was a big deal and no one did anything about it back then. Anyway, I had this back in the day. Okay, that music's getting on my tits now. I had this back in the day on Sinclair's LX Spectrum and I absolutely loved it. It's. I'll give you a hint, the Commodore's gonna win this one. So, why am I doing this video? Because the new Rambo movie's out. So, I had to. I love Rambo. How do I rate the movies? The first one is an absolute amazing all time classic uh, and a reflection on how America treated its Vietnam vets. The second one, this game's based on, is a joke. It's an absolute joke. The third one, isn't he on the side of the Taliban? The fourth one is brutal and I absolutely love. And I've yet to see five. Anyway, that's by the way. So we're comparing this against this and the Commodore 64 version. You could argue that when I get into it graphically, it's a bit pants. But it certainly doesn't compare to... We're going to put this on easy. Because easy is hard, trust me. So it doesn't compare to Commando. But it does things a bit differently. You have a choice of weapons, which you really do need to find one. And you have a four directional scrolling environment and helicopters, and you have to go to different areas and rescue hostages. It's not just straight up the screen. So whether that limits the way it works, I don't know. But I will say black as a background color on the spectrum is a tad odd. This was massively popular back in the day. And the funny thing is, once again, it was like, this is an adult movie. This is an adult movie. and. You're releasing it on the Spectrum, which is primarily a kid's machine. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. Um, my parents would never let us watch Rambo back in the day as a kid for some reason. Probably because of the bad press it got. But they would let us re watch Terminator. Oh well. Right. <clears throat> I've had one quick go and this is brutally hard. Brutally hard. So you're probably not going to see much. I'll explain why it's hard as I do it. But if you do, uh, well... <laughs> if you do, I doubt it. But it'll be enough to compare it to the Commodore 64 version. But if you had this on the Spectrum back in the day, I mean, Ocean did all the big movie titles, some better than others, but I have a soft spot for this game. Right, yes. What's your name? I think everyone did this, didn't they, back in the day? Right. Press any key music. Music from the film. Lives of those two things on the right. Uh, bottom it white is a knife, then it's grenade to the left. You can swap between them. All the other empty spaces can be filled by weapons. You have to find one. Right, so yeah, it's very, very black and devoid of colours. I've got knife, change, I've got grenade. Now, the thing is, everything has a range. Um, <clears throat> now look, four direction. Yeah, now the thing is, even though... There are far less bad guys on the screen as there are on Commando. Don't, don't, you know, mess around here. This is hard. We want to find blue silhouettes. They are the guns. There's a rocket launcher. That's just a puddle. No. Now, the interesting thing is... Oh, you explode when you die. Just like real life. Um, if you can get a weapon and you die, you don't lose it. So you can actually get fully stocked up. And the exploding arrow, obviously no surprises there is brilliant each weapon has a range 
The problem with the bad guys, though, is that that's a helipad, because you can get helicopter and fire it. Yeah. The problem with the bad guys is their weapons don't have a range. Bit unfair, that. I mean, I'm fucking Rambo, for God's sake. But what we want to do is we want to go to the top, and then we want to go round the river, and then blow... Oh, blow a hole in the fence and then go in there, then you can start rescuing POWs, which is obviously the plot of the story that Rambo's gone back to Nan oh, to rescue POWs. There's a bit of a fall with hit detection here, which is I have to be bang on to aim at them, but at the same angle where I can't shoot them, they can shoot me. Are we picking up how hard this is yet? Now, environments are destructible. Let's have a go with grenades. It's easier when you get rocket launcher. And, oh. Now, when it randomly generates them, I think... For the times you're you know, on that level, with, you know, before you die and start again, are they in the same place? And then it does it completely differently the next time. I could be wrong on that. I'm pretty sure it was a massive hit. Well, of course, it was one of those games, wasn't it, back in the day at school? You, just, you got Rambo? No. <laughs> we can't be friends. You're dead to me. Right. See what I mean? I guess... And this apparently is the bug fix one. Oh, I don't even know what the bug fix is. Oh, how am I still alive? I'll tell you, I'm still alive. Some John fucking Rambo. <clears throat> Get straight in front of them, far directly down beneath you is the best way to kill them. But <clears throat> you're completely exposed. Exposed? Exposed, right. Oh, I don't know, there's a bonus for shooting blue blokes because you got a score yeah attribute clash is attribute clash tastic i've gone too far see what i mean there's no map yoink holy shit a map would have been really nice and practical and useful so would a pair of bulletproof fucking bollocks <clears throat> stolen music right basically if i follow the river around to the left now that's where you go. It's a bigger game than you think it is. And then you get huts and stuff, and you could blow them up. Uh, tips, because that's what's going to happen to me. Uh, press any key tips, I did. I think there's a charm to it. I do like, I mean, they've done it to small, small, <laughs> make the screen smaller, but I do like that. Oh, uh, you know, on the left, bow and arrow. Look, it gives you both weapon types exploding and non-exploding but exploding obviously you can well explode shit i don't know if that was a new thing at the time i was impressed with it as a kid i was impressed with playing a game based on rambo oh, hell i could even see it at this point apparently if i go to the left oh, this is it i know i'm right now because you can see the line inside the water or the river oh, right so and it puts you right back <clears throat> to the beginning. I'm going to guess, for something that was delayed this long, I don't know, better things? Uh, don't get me wrong, I like it. It's not going to compete with the Commodore. I'm going, oh look, previously blown up trees, even though it put me all the way back to the beginning. And there's some blown up trees off screen just to piss off Bilotti. I can live with that. Right, but yeah, surely we could have done something a bit better. There we go. Right, can I shoot it with this? Or do I need the grenade? Just sit up on the left in a little bit. Why do I feel like I've made progress? I don't think I could get any further than just getting in the helicopter and landing it on the Spectrum. There we go. Shit gets really hard now. Is that slow down? Ooh, look. shot my arrow through him. Scrolling's gone a bit tits asunder. Right, we've got to look for a bloke tied to a cross because he's our Lord and Saviour. See what I did there? There he is. Oh, are you, are you? Please, don't. don't. Yay! So it's got, well, I don't know if stave saints is the right term. Safe position, pos carry on positions, continue points. We got that in the end. Hey, I can't save the bloke. I'm just going to ruin everywhere you've got to sleep. Ooh. Oh. 
Are we getting a feel for how hard this is? And this is easy. Imagine if I didn't have a bloody... Well, if I just had a knife. Although the grenade means you can blow up that thing. Because we all know that a Green Beret simply cannot get over a river with a locked fence. Oh. Well, there you go. I'm going to call it quits there and jump to the Commodore 64 version. It's balls hard. As I said, as poor graphics as it is, it's not terrible. They've done something different than the route they went with Commando, I guess, to stand out. Anyway, let's have a look at the Commodore 64 version. Okay, here we go. Rambo First Blood Part 2 on the Commodore 64. As you would expect, it's got amazing Sid Ship music. And I mean amazing Sid Ship music. Listen to this. Oh, Joffa. Legend. So, to be fair though, I mean, the Sid Ship often beats the Spectrum. But that was 48k Spectrum music on the, uh, the previous version we were playing. So, you know, throw it a bone with stuff like that. Now... I said this video is a bit of fun because obviously the Commodore 64 version, <clears throat> in this case, absolutely, you know, wipes the floor with the Spectrum, but I wanted to do it, you know, because a new Rambo movie is out. That said, however, there are a couple of things it could take from the Spectrum version to make it, well, more enjoyable, basically, but you'll see what that is, because it's, it's brutally hard, but I don't know if it's as hard as the Spectrum, but, right. Everything about the music on this game is amazing. Right, anyway, here we go. Full colour, near enough full screen. Uh, you don't have that big thing down the left hand side telling you what your weapons are. They are at the bottom of the screen and you can collect weapons. Amazing music. Right, change weapon. So, right off the bat, we don't have sound effects, which is a bit pants, but that's just a Commodore thing. They can do it as well as music, they choose not to. Graphically, it's really nice. It's not as nice as Commander. Um, but, your speed means it's a little bit more forgiving. Well, it's very much more forgiving than the Spectrum version. You don't, it's not like a geriatric trying to outrun a geriatric, if that makes sense. Sorry, geriatrics. However, here's a problem. I'm gonna to die to show you this. It's too cramped and you constantly get stuck and then you're just waiting for shit to find your face. That's a bit poor. See what I mean? I mean, it's nice graphics, it really is. I can't go any further right. Is that a gun? No, I've got the gun. Yeah, oh, you can blow up shit. Uh, you can't go any further right there, but you know. Um, but yeah, look how cr you, you just get stuck on stuff too easy. I don't like that. Maybe that's because the Spectrum couldn't, you know, handle that much stuff on the screen. But I mean, look how many bad guys there are, and yet I'm still alive somehow. I'm really not. Well, oh, that's the other fault, by the way. I shit you not. I know you're Rambo, but one life. Unless you could argue it's the world's most accurate war simulator from back in the day. Yeah, one life. That's shocking. See, if you had what the Spectrum has, which is a couple of lives, yeah, uh, and more space, then this would be a lot more forgiving. Well, not more forgiving, because it would be. It'd be more enjoyable. It's, it's the better looking game. I don't know if it's the more enjoyable game, because for all the folks of the Spectrum version, you feel like you stand a bloody chance. In this, it's just not the bad guys are against you. The bloody scenery hates you. The Almighty hates you because you, you've only got one life. See what I mean now? Can I... So if anyone comes around... Uh, I'm stuck. And they can just shoot me. Look, fortunately, apparently they're as scared of the foliage as I am. Like I said, I mean, it's better graphics than the Spectrum, that's a no-brainer. It's not better graphics than Commando. And it's these things, the one life and the just the claustrophobic nature and the fact that you're made out of Velcro, seriously let it down. In fact, I'm probably going to say they probably play out on a par then, because as brutal as the Spectrum version is, those two problems here on this version are really frustrating. No, I want to... So what? Surely that's where I go? I can't remember. I, the, the level maps have the same as the Spectrum version, but... What a jolly tune for dying to. No, we're going to go this way. See what I mean? You don't know what you can walk through and what you can't walk through and what's going to stick to you. 
I mean, I never said the Vietnam jungle was a nice place, but I'm pretty sure they don't have Velcro trees. <sighs> That's where you go. The, the, the level layout is the same as the Spectrum. And the place is the same because you do have to get helicopters and rescue POWs, but... One life, really. One life. If you had this back in the day on the Commodore. And yes, I know I'm not the greatest at this game. Um, but what did the whole one life thing do for you? How did that work out? The thing is, you can get away with not getting guns in this. Does that mean I actually know? Well, I need a grenade. Guns are in the same place, though. That's interesting. They're not random, so that's, that's a nod in his favour. Or against, depending on how difficult you like your games. It's not the greatest sort of commando s style, you know, top-down shooting game I've seen looking-wise on the Commodore, but... Right, can't go any further to the right, so I guess that means if I go straight up... Yeah, there's the river. Again, see, where do I go? I was to avoid the friggin' plants. I do like that music. Oh, look, I can just go through. No, I can't. I... Where's the grenade? That's a knife. I never balls this up. Am I going to have to go all the way back? I can't go any further right there as well, even though... I wonder if I can just get in through another way. Yes. No. Oh. Okay, so that's a little bit different. But are we, are we getting, you know, the, the feeling that I am now? Because I know this is a bit of fun, as I said. It's not really a true comparison video. But just giving you one life means I'm actually going to start leading towards the Spectrum version again, I think. Poor graphics, worse sound, slower controls. But the fact that you're in an environment you can move around in. And you don't get stuck to everything. And you've got more than one bloody life. And why are they gangsters with Tommy guns in it? They look like Michael Jackson from Smooth Criminal, but the fact that you've only got one life, that to me is, why would you do that? To extend the longevity of the game, or you rush to get it out? Because that just means, I know there'll be amazing players there who can ace this game but on one life, but that to me just ruins any chance of enjoyability. Think about it, when you would have had this back in the day, you'd be a bloody kid. My hand is cramping up to mofo. I got energy, bottom left. That's why you've only got one knife. I just realised. I thought I was taking a couple of plugs. Ugh, I can't take any more of it though. I'm sorry. That's all you're going to see. Do you know what? This was a bit of fun in honour of the new Rambo movie, but I'm going to say this. It looks better on the Commodore, but the complete sticky nature of the, the foliage, that's the worst descriptive term I've ever used, and the fact that you've only got one life, regardless of if you've got energy, that just makes it not an enjoyable experience. Anyway, as always, I'd love to know what you think. I mean, did you have either of these? I'm more interested in what you thought both versions, not necessarily against each other, but, you know, did you have any of these back in the day? What did you think? Particularly with that one life bollocks. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.